From the Hubble Space Telescope to my contact lenses, optics is all about focusing light. The Hubble Space Telescope focuses light using a lens at the front of the camera and then two mirrors, two curved mirrors to focus the light onto a digital camera. My contact lenses use a lens to focus the light more correctly on the back of my eye on the retina. You'll need to know about two of the lenses that we use to focus light. This first lens is called a convex lens. This second lens is called a concave lens. And the way to remember those names is to think of the shape. The concave lens caves in in the middle. It's thinner in the middle than it is on the ends of the lens. The convex lens is wider in the middle and thinner at the ends. Now the convex lens is also a converging lens and what that means is that light is brought together. Light is made, light rays are made to come together. The concave lens is called a diverging lens and this means that after passing through the lens the light rays spread further out, they diverge. Converging lens focus what we call real rays on the far side of the lens. This point is called the focus and it's where the rays converge. In the diverging lens, the rays don't converge. So we say diverge, diverging lenses focus imaginary rays on the near side of the lens. So the light is moving through this side, from this side to this side. Therefore, we can say that these lines never meet except if we uh, project them backwards on the near side of the lens as imaginary rays and the focus would be somewhere around here. I'm going to take the time at some point to show you every option for these ray diagrams but in this video I'm just quickly going to go through the steps that you should follow in an exam if you're given a diagram like this one and you're asked to construct a ray diagram and find out where the image will be constructed. Now the key points to note are this, this is the object, that arrow represents an object that we're going to focus the light from using the lens in the middle and this line through the middle is the axis of that lens. These two points, the black dots, are called the foci of the lens and we just label them usually with F. Now here's the little steps for you to follow, just a four step procedure and you will be able to draw yourself where the image arrow should be. Firstly, we draw a ray parallel to the axis from the top of the object to the middle of the lens that's going to look with a ruler something like this stop at the middle of the lens with that one then step two we refract that lens through the principal focus we use the far focus for the converging type lens and the near focus for the diverging type lens we know this is a converging type lens because the arrows point outwards and the shape of the lens, or the shape of the lens, is that convex shape. So, I refract that ray through the principal focus. And I simply keep that ray going as far as the bit of graph paper I've been given will allow me. That's step two. Step three, we do another ray from the top of the object all the way through the very center of the lens. The point at which the axis and the line through the middle actually cross. That's step three. Step four is to draw the image arrow. Now the image arrow is from the axis to wherever the rays cross. And we label that arrow image. Often you'll see that arrow is drawn using dotted lines. 
You could also be asked to describe the image that has been formed and say, would it be a real image or a virtual image? This image is an example of a real image. We know that because it is formed by real rays. It's on the far side of the lens, so therefore it can be projected onto a screen. Is it upright or inverted? Well, you can see it's inverted. It's not upright. It's upside down. And is it magnified or diminished? Magnified means the image is larger, and diminished means the image is smaller than the object. This is actually not either of them. It's not magnified or diminished. You could be given data or asked to take readings from the diagram, take measurements from the diagram, and, and give an actual numerical value for magnification. So in this case, our image height is 9 centimetres and our object height is 3 centimetres. So the magnification equals the image height divided by the object height. So it is 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the magnification is 3. There's no unit on magnification. It's actually a bit like a scale factor in maths. It's like saying times 3. Another situation, the image height is 2.5. The object height is 5, so the magnification is 2.5 divided by 5, which is a half, or 0 0.5. So the magnification is times 0 0.5. That means, of course, that the image is getting smaller, so it's diminished. We still call it a magnification of 0 0.5. If you found that video useful, and you might like to click here and subscribe to my channel and you'll get all the latest videos. Maybe also if you know other people who would find that useful, then do go ahead and share with them.